What do you think of my Golden Girls? Love it. They are like breaking down that gate. We are wrecking the place. She's pretty skimpy. Look at all you lambs. What are you guys doing? Sandy forgot to shut the gate. We may have a new addition to our flock. Good morning, guys. I don't know what I did but I think I've pulled my groin. These are not working and specifically like right in this area. Oh boy, boots. Ah, Chris had just texted me and said my market lambs got out. So they have welcomed her back off her holidays, which is mighty nice of them. Probably by the time I get there, she will have them back in their pen. <laughs> Did I leave the door open? Yeah. Oh my god, you lost your voice! Yeah, I have no voice! <laughs> I gotta really stop leaving these gates open. Oopsie. Hi ladies. Were you eating some grass? Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Oh. Who would have think that I had sheep that would follow me? I actually think I saw them eating grass. I think I saw their heads down. I think they prefer the hay though. What do you think of my golden girls? Love it. Love it! They're so funny. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Well, I'm ridiculous. Adjust it again. I figured maybe it was the ones that had all the chips out of the blades. No. Those are okay? Yeah, they still got an edge on them. Oh, I see. We just have that uh, hub that we fixed in second cut that he said uh, some of the blades are just, there's a lot of play in them, a lot of bouncing around. So he's just trying to kind of fix that up because. I think finally we're gonna get at this third cut hay and because it rained, we have moisture, I think we actually are gonna try to attempt to take off that new seeding as well. Um, instead of getting Ethan lined up, we actually might bale it. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because it's not gonna be, there's not enough there to make a bag to go on the pad and we don't wanna use up valuable real estate. So then we can, when the oats are ready that we just planted here last week, um, we can actually get a full bag and use the remainder of the pad for an actual feed bag. So I think that's what we decided on last night and um, the forecast, it was like two weeks of clear weather and now Mark said there's 70% chance of rain on Sunday night so now we're dodging rain all of a sudden. Old farmers, wives, old wives' tales. 
farmer sayings. That's a farmer saying. That's not even a wife's tale. A wife wouldn't say that. Um, yeah, so we're pretty thin here. Do you think you'll do a fourth cut on this stuff? No. Okay. And it's kind of logistics, right? Because no, we're doing I'm the. I'm spray a chunk of this off this fall, anyways, and there's 10 acres that we're keeping. Right. And then, and then probably seed, but I might seed down a little more next spring over here. Oh, okay. Because we got to keep around 50 ish acres. Right. If you take that, this side will only have 40. And we're light this year on feed already, then 40 will do it next year. Right. Year. So we'll need 50. Might have to seed some down. Um, so the rain kind of helped our new seeding, and that's why we're able to cut it now, right? Because it's got. There's moisture there now that I'm okay to cut it because there's a moisture reserve there to let it grow again. Okay. So we're cutting it basically to clean up a lot of the weeds. Yeah, a lot of weeds came up with just that rain. Just even it up a little bit and just not to have it too tall going into fall if you don't cut it at all. Right, because so then it can kind of snuff itself. itself but, yeah. yeah, so um, yeah, just trying to get it kind of cleaned up so it's in good shape going into the fall. Gotcha. Which is weird to talk about. I know, but it's happening. What is it today? August 10th. Okay, I left Mark to uh, finish cutting hay. He's on the, he's done the headlands. He's on the straight up and down uh, rows now. Let's load up this trailer and get on the road because it's uh, about that time of day. Females are a little trickier than the boys to go on. I don't know why. Morning guys, it's Thursday and uh, I was kind of silly last night when I got home from shipping lambs, I unhooked the trailer, not realizing that, well, forgetting that I had planned with Carissa this morning first thing to load up those bottle babies and take them across the road. So I do have everything set up across the road, but I did unhook my trailer, so. I guess I'm doing that again. They smell like little piggies. Yeah. I think it's the bees. Like oh, it's not nice that they don't smell anymore. <laughs> in the morning. 
<laughs> oh, and Jamie gave me a new uh, feed sheet. There's a ton of soybean meal though, because this the oats have no protein. So much I put that you were at Boots and Heart, someone messaged me and said, Oh my so and so's there too. My daughter's there, so oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like my age. Oh, oh yeah. They're like coming in with us. Oh yeah. We don't get out much, but when we do, watch out. Yeah. We're worse than like our kids are disgusted. We have successfully moved those bottle babies. They were loving it over there, but we do have to watch and make sure they get onto those water bowls. There was a few kind of looking at them but we may have to take pails over just to make sure they get water. The other thing that I haven't talked to you guys about because I kind of just did it was uh, we got into a different bag of feed, which is our uh, nurse crop, our new seeding, which had a lot of oats in it. And our oats uh, were fairly mature, which means the protein dropped quite a bit on that new seeding. So our ewes have gone through a pretty drastic protein protein drop. So we took a feed sample, we got it analyzed, and sure enough, the protein's really low. So that means our soybean meal went through the roof, which means a very expensive ration. So we are sitting on some bales from last year. So I'm getting Jamie to come and take a sample of the one row of second cut bales. And I'm hoping there's a little more protein in those bales that we can mix with our TMR to increase the protein so it would not, I don't have to buy as much soybean meal because soybean meal is really expensive. We are at a creek feed again. What? I just filled it. Yeah. Are you serious? No, I'm not. I'm kidding you. Oh my god. So, as I was saying, we switched into this bag of the new seating here. I don't know, a week and a half ago maybe? And the ironic thing is, uh, Krista just came into my office and said, uh, we're out of creep feed and I just ordered creep feed, two ton of creep feed about uh, like, I think it came July 25th. Today is August 11th. So uh, that is the quickest I've ever gone through creep feed. And I said, do you think it's because the protein dropped, the ewes are giving less milk, the lambs need more feed to make up for the loss of milk. And then Jamie, my feed guy, just texts, he goes, do you think it's because the protein's so much less in the feed? I'm like, I literally just said that to Carissa. So I think we're all on the same page. Um, so yeah, so this is, the, this is the new seating that we are feeding right now. Uh, Mark did get this field, this whole entire field cut yesterday, but look how awful the new seating is. She's pretty skimpy. So we are really, really happy we planted those oats. He's actually gonna grab the roller today and roll those and pick any stones. Uh, we don't want any stones going in our hay by number one or I'll just, it, it will explode literally. It's on its last leg as it is. And we also don't want to, it to get put into a win, windrow and wreck Ethan's harvester. So he's doing that today. And then I think he's might, he might actually run to our friend Stefan's and pick up cover crop seed. And I think this weekend we're gonna plant the rest of our cover crops and get them in now that we have moisture in the ground. But we're gonna actually bale this hay on Saturday. Our buddy Joel's coming. We're gonna bale this all and wrap it. And um, I just, we just don't think we're gonna be able to fill a bag with what's here. Um, we have a spot for a half a bag, but we just didn't think logistically um, it was worth getting everybody lined up for a half a bag of feed. So we're just gonna maybe, I think we're just gonna bail this weekend and uh, hope for some dry hay. Good morning, it's Friday and uh, we got a lot going on this morning already. These guys are hard at it. We're putting the uh, the drop spout on uh, on that new bin, and uh, to do that, we actually had to move some other drop spouts that are already on some other bins, uh, just to get the right angle and the right spout. Because 
when we originally built this, we weren't sure where we were going to put it. That is a big crane. It's like a stairway to heaven. I was away most of the day yesterday at a sheep function, at a sheep meeting and some sheep tours. So I left Mark to his own devices and he raked all my hay. Someone's got to do work around here. <laughs> right. All right, we're getting right at it this morning. Uh, I was reminded, well, actually my brain remembered, which is quite a feat, uh, that today is has been two weeks since Charlie was here, which means they need their second lice treatment. They are like breaking down that gate. Yeah. The one I think is like stuck. He's leaving it. <laughs> the lamb is taking down this gate, literally. What are you doing? You're wrecking the place. back to our previously scheduled entertainment. I'm not sure where we were there. But we are going to do the second dose of lice treatment. It has to be do it has to be done at least 2 weeks apart, no earlier. So today we're going to do it cuz we have time. Do you want me down here to let him out? I can do that. Adjust this so it's goes in more. This. Oh. But the problem was always Marge, but she's not here now. One more. Oh, I guess we gotta do the U lambs too, don't we? Good old U lambs. What are you guys doing? <laughs> nope, we got it back up. At least she's little. Yeah, see, the door's open. I don't... There you go. I've got a little bit of a treat for you guys. This is the third day in a row I have hooked up this trailer. We may have a new addition to our flock. We had to make a detour back because Sandy forgot to shut the gate. Come on, girl. Hi. Do you want to film? Okay, what do I do? Do I do anything? It's, it's already filmed. Okay, so just, so just kind of hold it. Hi, ladies. Here, I'll grab it, Jeff. Okay. All right, girls. Come on. I swear to God, they just go right Come in. Come on, ladies, Mom. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. 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 That's it. <laughs> I guess that was worth the detour. As you can tell, they don't see much of. <laughs> Yours, <really. laughs> Thank you for trying.
Good Lord. Is it even aiming at us? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of carrying it. I think I saw it. <laughs> Watch it not be recording, I would giggle. <laughs> you little monsters. You think you're, what did you do? I will not leave this open again. Sorry, Jess. You suck. <laughs> Jess. like, hey, can we come back? Sorry, we were on our way to town and Jess called and said, uh, your sheep are out. Which is kind of my number one anxiety. <laughs> you won't mind if it's mind if I take this one home? Oh my god, Belinda. I know what the girls do. Oh my god. Her tail is white all the way up to her bum. Oh. Good mommy. What? Look at you. Where's your mom? Where are I forget how little they are. She ba yeah, basically. That's how you show she. He, I feel like he could just lift her. He, oh, I have to pick her up and put her in the panel. Yeah. Okay, Come this on. way there. It's oh. tomatoes. Oh god, you're giving up. Is she too heavy? Oh god, Belinda. Look at that hernia. Coffee. Another one. Zero percent helpful. Let's go. You want the halter? No. No, she'll just, we'll just be flying. Why will we be good? She'll come visit you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. What do you, ah, little tomatoes. No, just no, no. What are you doing? You're fine. Hello. You're fine. No, you're good. Tomato is so excited. She is very excited. I'll get the other girls out first. Hey, girls. Come on out. Come say hi to your new friend. I think my sister got a full uh, dose of what goes on in my life on a typical morning. <laughs> and I think she's pretty happy to just stick to uh, doing some office work, but she had a few good laughs, which is good. So Little Tomatoes was a bottle lamb of Belinda's who Belinda fell in love with. And the day I was working on getting this all organized and bringing these mamas over here, um, I was on her Instagram and she had this like kind of teary, request for her Instagram audience to like, does anyone want to take tomatoes? Because I don't think I can keep her. What are you saying, guys? You got a new friend? Oh, Ruby, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> it's the first time I saw Ruby being a little aggressive. So yeah, um, I texted her and I'm like, dude, I've got a little pasture just for that reason because I couldn't put four on a truck of my own. And she's like, are you serious? I'll pay you. I'm like, you're not paying me. And it's kind of a little bit of a bonus because tomatoes has been on grass. So I'm thinking if she knows how to eat grass, however, she's eating the hay, so this might not work, but I'm hoping if she knows how to eat grass, she can teach the other ones how to eat grass. So I literally got kind of a sheep to train sheep. If that makes sense. You're not really doing your job there, tomatoes. You're a suck too, aren't you? Hi. Oh, Ruby! I saw that. Are you jealous? Hi. She doesn't care. Oh, 
might just call this one Belinda. She don't take no sass for it from anyone. She don't take no sass. No, she doesn't. Tomatoes. You're supposed to teach them how to eat grass. Same big mama. 